Today is Saturday, August 31st, and I'm going to tell you the sealed Pokemon cards and singles that I am currently buying or about to buy right now. So we're going to start off with some Surging Sparks, and the reason I kind of wanted to um, tell you guys what I'm buying, how much I'm buying, and why is because I kind of like transparency. I like to show you guys where I'm putting my money of what I believe in. I don't like to say, oh, just buy X, Y, and Z and stuff that I'm not personally buying. So I try and do as much transparency on the channel as possible. So currently, I just picked up a few cases uh, from Forge and Fire. This is forgeandfiregaming.com. And I picked up a few cases of Surging Sparks. And it went a little bit against my grain only because... We haven't seen the full set list, but I'm worried just because of the hype that I didn't want to miss out. So I'm FOMOing. I admit to FOMOing uh, multiple cases. Uh, so you can, what I like that Forge and Fire has is if you want to just get just a case, they'll ship you just a case for 570, which I think is a great price. You might be able to find, I think Nano Rare Candy has it. Some other uh, different websites have it. You can also pay to have it double boxed. So 580 and they'll put that case inside of another box. So if you want your case to be in pristine condition, uh, they also have another shipping service that you can pay for where they'll pick you only the best boxes and they'll put corner protectors on and all this extra stuff. So if you're worried about, if you want to make sure you're getting the highest quality boxes, uh, Forge and Fire seems to have a really great option for that. I've ordered from them multiple times in the past. I haven't ever been disappointed. So I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just wanted to say um, this is where I'm buying it from. So as transparent as possible. Next up, I did pick up one of these to go with that. So this is the booster box and ETB combo. I don't usually, if you're familiar with the channel, I don't open a lot of product because I just lose. it's the best way to lose money, right? That's why I do uh, mostly sealed investing and I buy singles. But I'm going to rip some Surging Sparks. I'm really excited. I don't know how much. So I'm hoping to only rip one ETB and one booster box, but I got multiple cases, so I might dig into those. Don't know yet. I'm trying to... I'm trying to stay strong, but uh, this is 128 for a pre-order price for a booster box and ETB. Um, yeah, I think you can't go wrong with that. I am not, and I don't, I have never bought and don't plan to currently buy Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. However, I do think that they are good investments. I just, I'm going to go more booster box heavy. Not that, like, they're performing well. Those Pokemon Center stamped cards... I would only buy the ones that have the stamped cards, which are all the newer sets. So that's something I might add in the future. Maybe, you know, I'm not, I don't have unlimited money, obviously. So that's kind of why I haven't. I focus on booster boxes. Maybe as I, if I keep building up to it, I'll include that later. But right now my budget just doesn't include it. So if you want to get the Pokemon Center ETBs, I think they, they do very well. Next up, just wanted to show this. I didn't buy any of just the booster boxes from them. But if you wanted to pick up just a box or two, currently they're at 98 97 But if you buy three, you can get $2 off per box. Or buy four, you can get $3 off. So uh, you can get that price down if you didn't want to buy a full case or whatever whatever it may be. Forge and Fire, like I said, I've had good luck from them. Never had an issue. So let's we'll just talk about this real quick. The reason I'm buying those cases and those boxes just based off of these cards now, we still haven't seen the Pikachu, and usually my advice would be to not uh, FOMO into a set and be pre-ordering, but I just think the hype is too real for the set. It's I, I'm not going to miss out, so I'm FOMOing in um, the, the, oops, excuse me, the uh, Latios and Latias uh, cards are stunning. I really like the Execute. Uh, I, I like to Execute and Executor um, a lot. And this card, I really like this card. I don't like this version. I've said this before. I don't like the Alolan version of Executor before. But this card is silly, and I like everything about it. The Florida Christmas tree, somebody said in the comments once. I like that. Um, I love the Rainbow Borders. Absolutely love them. I'm all about it. I, this is my current chase card for the set. Don't know what else is going to even be there. Uh, but that's what I'm chasing for now. So we'll see. That Pikachu and some other stuff might might be better than that but currently this is what i'm trying to pull so with those tough pull rates i might be cracking a few boxes also i just picked up a bunch of these 151 booster bundles so these were recently in stock if you guys weren't familiar on walmart now there was a third party seller there's a whole fiasco right we, we touched on this in multiple videos but i picked up more than a boost, booster bundle display i think i got 
yeah, two separate orders. Um, I didn't get full. I think I got less than 20. But anyways, uh, once again, money running thin. But I picked up, I think it was around 14 or 15 boxes in that restock. And that was really cool. If you guys want to stay up to date uh, on when this was coming, it's still coming back in and, and out of stock on Walmart and other places. But if you guys uh, want to stay up to date, join the Discord. There's a link in the description. There's a deal section in there. And we're, the Discord is great. Everyone in there is awesome, doing a good job of making sure everyone stays up to date on when these products are coming back into stock because what's important is we're picking these up for $28, it was about 29. And although these just started coming down because of the restock, these are still going for $43 on the secondary market. So if you can pick them up from Walmart for 29, you're doing really good. So that is the 151 booster bundle. Stellar Crown. Okay, so with Stellar Crown, um, I bought um, more than a case from Forge and Fire again. Same prices, right? You can get case only for five seventy, double box for five eighty. I picked up more than a case. Um, I was, I still am bullish on Stellar Crown. It is a smaller set, so if it has the same pull rates, it's not going to be as crazy as what Surging can be. If we get those same pull rates, it's going to be so similar to Twilight uh, because it's a big set. But um, Stellar's smaller, but I like Terrapagos. I think it's a cool legendary. I think it's popular in the anime. I think for investment-wise, that this is going to be a good set. The kids are going to love the Rainbow Borders. They are gonna they already love Terrapagos if they've watched the anime. He's going to be a popular Pokemon. And I do believe in this set. While it might not be the strongest set in the generation, I still think it's worth investing in. And my current uh, investment uh, outlook is that I'm not skipping any sets. I will never be skipping any sets with the exception of maybe specialty sets. Um, I didn't really pick up much Shrouded Fable. I did pick up a little, but mainline booster box sets, I'm not sleeping on it. Mainly because you just, you never know what's gonna pop off. And I just like Pokemon. So I, I wanna have it in my sealed collection. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, but yeah, same pricing here. You, they have the ETB and booster box. I did pick up one of these as well. Same exact thing. Uh, booster box and an ETB. So when that comes in, I can crack that. Like I said, hopefully only one box is what I'm aiming for. But I might be a degenerate and rip more. We'll see. So yeah, um, I do like the look of the ETB as well. I think it's cool. So with Stellar Crown, we'll just take a quick look. I'll tell you guys what I'm chasing. Um, it's not as much, but it's going to be pretty simple. To, you guys will figure it out. The Bulbasaur, I'm absolutely chasing, and the Squirtle have to have those if not i'm gonna be picking those up as singles i also really like uh lydian or ledian i don't know actually how you pronounce that uh love that i like this pokemon from when i back in the day when i had pokemon gold uh, yeah cool pokemon the uh the joltik i'm not really chasing the zorora i would love to pull and that's mostly it from here but then when we get into the dash bun i really want the dash bun and the terrapagos those are my big chases and the Joltik I wouldn't mind pulling, but that's kind of what I want from that set. And hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, I don't know how crazy this card's gonna go. We just don't know, but I might wanna just pick up some singles. Pull rates are gonna be tough. I'm hoping the smaller set works out for me, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at with Stellar Crown. Now, currently that is all of the sealed product that I have already bought. I just like, and when I say already bought, like, I just bought all this stuff. It's not like I bought it weeks ago. I'm trying to tell you guys with as much notice as possible. So, just the transparency. Now, this next stuff is stuff I haven't bought yet, but I'm looking to acquire shortly. Like, very soon. So, we'll talk about a few singles that I'm looking at picking up. I don't know when I'm going to pick these up. There's a another card show in Northern California that's coming up very soon. Where I might... I'm not sure if I'm going to go yet. But if I do... These are what I'm going to be trying to pick up. Um, I've been I've been scouring eBay, and I'm just I'm right here on the Lugia, because one absolutely love the artwork, and when you look at the chart here, pull out the one year. So obviously we had the big alt art run up in May, and I hate how they put this text over here. It's hard to see where you're at, but it's starting to level out a little bit. It dipped down to like 165, went up to 176, and it's kind of leveling out which for me indicates a good point 
a good buying point with where Silver Tempest is at. I need to pick up this chase card before it sells out on the Pokemon Center and those boxes go up. Boxes go up, the Lugia goes up. It's just going to happen. I need to get this card. I'm not going to try and pull it. It's too hard. I'm, it's going to waste too much money. 170 bucks. I'll buy it. So I'm going to be picking this up real soon. Could be, honestly, I'm not sure. I might hop on eBay right after this uh, as this video is uploading. I might pick this up. I might wait for the card show. I don't know. But uh, the Lugia is on my list. So it's just an alt art I have to have. Um, and I haven't been able to pick it up. So currently, it's one of the ones I'm going to get. Next up, another single from Stroud and Fable, weaker set. I got the Houndoom in a trade. If you watched my uh, two card show videos ago um, at a little local card show, I was up actually able to trade for the Houndoom, and that actually worked out really well. I traded some like lesser CGC slabs that I didn't really want. They weren't very valuable, but the kid was all about it. Traded me the Houndoom, and that was like release weekend, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that worked out. The Persian, we can see it just bottomed out a little bit right here, and it's kind of a little bit on the uptick. So I'm going to be keeping an eye. I'm going to wait a little bit longer on this because I don't know if it's going to go down more. It's hard to tell. Uh, but I do think that this is one of the coolest cards from the set. And I like the artwork. So for the Persian, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. If it goes up, this is kind of how I look at it with cards like this. Because we don't know if it's going to continue to level out, go up, and then come back down. Nobody can really know for certain. But if it goes, it's at 26, call it 27 bucks. If it goes up to 28, 29, even 30, I'll risk it. But on the chance that it goes down to around that 20, maybe even below 20, that's where I'd like to be at on it. But I'll risk, if I have to pay a few dollars more, it's no big deal. But I'll take that risk on hoping to save more. So that's my approach with some of these when you just especially with newer newer cards and Shredded Fable kind of getting crapped on, which I don't think it's as horrible as people say, if I'm being honest. It's okay. It's a specialty set. But anyways, regardless of how you feel, I like the Persian, so I'm going to be picking it up. I'm just waiting a little bit longer to strike on that one. Uh, like I said, if I go to that card show and it comes up for a good price, I'm, I'm going to scoop it up. So a lot of the times at the card show, if you can find somebody, it doesn't always happen, but it, like, for example, if you can find somebody who has the Lugia and the Persian, you work a little deal, right? Uh, and maybe this next card. So this next card I've talked about before. This is from Lost Origin. This is the Pikachu V Max. I don't have this card. I just picked up the V from this set recently, and kind of the same thing. This this is a little bit leveling out at around thirty one dollars, and it's kind of indicating a buy point for me. Pull out the one year chart right here. Um, its highest point was right here, just under fifty dollars, forty eight dollars. Um, it had a little bit of run down, then a little up, then a little down, and it seems like it's leveling out. This is one of those ones, again, where we're not sure if we've seen the bottom. Could be. Could keep going down a little bit more. But with this card, I feel like there's a little bit more hype that's going to be coming to Pikachu with Surging Sparks. I don't know, depending on the chase card there, that, that very well could um, raise the value of other Pikachu cards. We've seen it with uh, the Moonbryon raising other Umbreons, even Umbreons from different sets, not from Evolving Skies, uh, have gone up in value. So the Pikachu effect could be happening. It just depends. We haven't seen what the Pikachu chase card is going to be. So that is a Pikachu that I'm wanting to secure, hopefully before the Surging Sparks announcement of what that chase card is going to be. It should be a rainbow border, and it could be really popular. So... Um, that's why I'm wanting to pick up that Pikachu. I don't have it. I've been, it's been on my list for forever for me to pick up, right? It's not, it's a cool card. It's fairly affordable. And yeah, I just, I don't want to miss out if the Pikachus take off. So, um, yeah, it's a cool card and I, I need to have it. So that pretty much sums up what I have just bought or what I'm planning to buy in the immediate future. I'm kind of a little spent because I don't, I just, I pre-ordered all this stuff like, just recently. So I just kind of spent all my money, <laughs> my card money, on uh, Surging and Stellar Crown. Surging Sparks and Stellar Crown is where I'm at. So obviously, uh, just to touch on, I made a video a little while ago about Surging versus Stellar. We talked about that. And I kind of, I put my money where my mouth is. And I did, I still believe in Stellar. And I got over a case. 
but I got mo- and I got mo- I'm in the multiple cases for surging. So that tells you what I believe more, and it's a little bit of a gamble because we haven't seen the full set. It is possible, not likely, but it's possible that the rest of the set could be garbage. We don't know. So I'm a little bit jumping the gun, and that does have me a little bit worried. I like to at least know the set beforehand, but just with the hype, I'm buying into the hype. So, yep, I'm FOMOing into surging. Uh, yeah, so summary of this video. FOMO into surging, also buying Stellar, looking for a few singles, including the Lugia. I think it's very important to pick up uh, before Silver Tempest sells out on the Pokemon Center because that will happen, even if it takes a while. It's going to happen in... The boxes will go up and the Lugia will follow. Persian and Pikachu, I'm looking to pick up as well. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to do another little transparent what I'm buying and why I'm buying it. If you're this far in the video, we're almost at 15 minutes and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the video. So if you want to do me a huge favor, do yourself a favor. Go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're buying right now. I'd love to know what you guys are buying. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. And remember... It was never a phase.